Welcome, BioBots. Presenting will be Danny Cabrera and Ricardo Solorzano. Thank you, guys. Hey, everyone. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for coming out. My name is Danny. I'm one of the founders of BioBots. We build 3D bioprinters and bioinks. We're creating a future where patients with organ failures can receive customer placements built on BioBot 3D bioprinters and constructed out of their own cells. Now, we're actually closer to this goal than you realize. Already, researchers on the cutting edge are printing and implanting simple organs, things like skin, tracheas, and even bladders. But beyond replaceable organs, the biotech industry is beginning to take advantage of this technology by replacing cumbersome animal testing with miniature organs built out of human cells. Now, although the first generation tools have really shown us the promise of the field, today they're holding back the revolution. Think back to the dawn of computing. Large mainframes that filled up entire rooms, cost millions of dollars, and were operated by punch cards and teams of technicians. State of the art biofabrication tools aren't that much different. They fill up entire rooms, can cost up to half a million dollars, and are operated by teams of specially trained technicians. Now, our founder, Ricardo, is one of those especially trained technicians. He spent the last several years apprenticing himself to researchers on the cutting edge. He's learned all the deep, dark secrets of what works and what doesn't. He started building the next generation device in his dorm room, where he enlisted my help. I studied computer science and biology at Penn, where I spent a lot of time building gene networks for genomic engineering. And together, Ricardo and I have built something incredible. Meet the BioBot One. We took something that used to fill up an entire room and shrunk it down to a desktop 3D bioprinter that's unleashing the biological revolution. This device features many characteristics with traditional 3D bioprinters use harsh processes like heat and UV radiation to cure materials. With bioprinting, there's one additional challenge, and that's curing the materials without killing all of the cells. And that's our key innovation. We've invented a new proprietary process that uses visible light to cure materials without killing all of the cells. Now, with traditional 3D printers have had standard inks for a while, and there's nothing like that. There's no equivalence in bioprinting, at least not until this week. Earlier this week, we released our first kit. It's a cartilage kit that's enabling researchers to print three-dimensional living cartilage really, really easily. As it contains everything that you need in order to do 3D bioprinting, and I want you guys to focus in on that vial. It contains a special solution of a collagen, a natural collagen derived from cartilage, and it has, also contains our special secret sauce initiator, which catalyzes the reaction uh, using visible light. It turns something from a solid, it's from a liquid into a solid without killing the cells. Now, earlier this week, we really, uh, on Monday, we demoed the product for you guys, this, uh, printing a new year for Van Gogh. Uh, he's one of our favorite artists, and so we designed him a, a new year uh, using solid uh, sorry, uh, Autodesk uh, design software. We then ported that design into our software, which converts from a three-dimensional CAD file into instructions for the device. Um, and uh, that tells the device exactly what to do to print. Now, can we please, please switch over to the camera demo? The, our kit really here contains uh, several things, but before the, uh, before the presentation, we actually went ahead and filled the syringe with the cartilage polymer, uh, loaded, connected it to the gauge, loaded it into the device, and uh, we started printing. And as you can see, the device really contains a standard three-axis system that it shares with most traditional 3D printers. It allows us to move in X, Y, and Z. There's also this uh, pressure regulator here, and that's how we control the extrusion of the material. Uh, pressure feeds into here, and users can tune the pressure. For the cartilage kit, to print at 150 micron resolution, you need 60 PSI, so that's what we're printing at. There's also one more key thing to note, and that's that there's a series of LED lights mounted in this cartridge. Now, those lights are what catalyzes the reaction. As soon as the material starts coming out, these lights shine on it, and it starts to, to cure without killing the cells. So, I mean, we, were, we, were, we didn't want to print another year for you guys today, so we actually were sitting around last night trying to figure out what to print, and we realized that uh, we had one of the best nose models in the room. And so we decided to print me a new nose. <laughs> and um, please bring the camera over to my hands, if possible. Um, and as we, what we have here is uh, Van Gogh's ear from Monday and a new nose that I printed for myself. Uh, well, let's see. Last time, somebody were telling me that they couldn't see. <laughs> 